Hi and welcome back to a new video. Today we will talk about the MSI Mac Core Liquid 240R. Not because it's a very good AIO, but because there have been problems and issues with this AIO recently. I also want to take responsibility for a video I did in the past. We posted a video end of October 2021 with an all MSI build where we were also featuring this specific AIO. Kind of a coincidence, when we did the video, I pointed out that there are multiple things MSI should improve about this AIO, but I had no idea how much they actually have to improve or what they would have to improve. Because just going back in time, uh, this year in March, I read a news on Hardware Lux that MSI is issuing a recall about the Core Liquid 240R, at least partially. Then I read the news and I thought, okay, we actually use this AIO, just let me check the serial number. Then I checked the serial number and it told me that this was not affected, that this was not part of the recall. And then I thought, okay, maybe it's just a small amount of AIOs. And at that point, I also thought, because that is actually the correct way what MSI is doing and it's absolutely not my intention to bash MSI or anything. It's just to take responsibility from my side and also uh, raise awareness because if I feature a product in a video, there's always the possibility that one of you viewers is buying one of these products and then you should know that there is a potential issue with this product, which we were featuring in an earlier video. So going back in time, I checked the serial number and it seemed not to be affected. And at that time, by the way, I gave the system to a friend of mine just for his daily gaming. And in the early days when he was playing with it, everything was fine. He did not have any issues until August. This video is sponsored by Hetzner and their dedicated root servers. The AX line offers a wide range of servers depending on your required CPU power, storage and memory. It starts with the AX41, which features a Ryzen 5 3600 with 64 gigabyte of memory and two 512 gigabyte NVMe SSDs. The AX101 would come with 5950X, 128 gigabyte of ECC memory and two 3.84 terabyte NVMe SSDs. Of course, fully configurable with the OS you need, additional storage and gigabit connection. Find out more in the link below. In August, he sent me a message that he was getting over temperature error on his 11900K and he had some issues. And then, actually, I didn't even think about the recall at that time. I just, because I usually on the daily business don't have too much time, I just sent him a message that I will give him uh, AIO as a replacement. So I gave him a different one and thought, okay, maybe just the pump died or whatever. There could be multiple things. And I didn't have the time to check, to be fully honest. Two weeks ago, because I'm also following Greg Salazar, he's doing very good videos, very good video ideas, can absolutely recommend him. I was watching a video of him, which was called MSI needs to expand recall. And he was talking basically about the same thing. One of his viewers had an AIO like this and he had the same kind of temperature issues. He could not send it in directly to MSI over the recall page because his serial number was not inside the recall system. And then he made a second video on the 15th of September where he said that MSI ex is expanding the affected serial numbers and he should now be able to send in the affected AIO. And then I thought, maybe it's now time to check if mine is also in the system and it's not inside the system. <laughs> so I contacted Greg over WhatsApp. I sent him um, also an image of the serial number so he can forward it to the MSI contact who's already working on it. I thought about doing this over MSI Germany, but they would also just get in contact with HQ. And if Greg is already working on the topic, a topic I thought would be a good thing to just go over him. And yeah, so here we are with potentially one affected AIO that is still not inside the system. So I'm not quite sure if just all of them are maybe affected or I'm not sure what's going on, but we will just open it up and see if it is physically affected or not. But just going by the temps, I'm pretty sure it is. First of all, we removed the fans and underneath you can also see some like imprints, a lot of dust because this has been running for a lot of hours and weeks and therefore it should reflect the normal usage which you would see at home. So we're just going to straight open this up, check the internal structure if it's blocked with anything. We will check first the cold plate on here and then also check the pump that is sitting inside the radiator. Just already judging by the residues we can see inside the liquid, you will know that there's definitely going to be a problem. 
I would say those are exactly the same residues that Greg found in his sample. And definitely, I mean, that's the center where the water is spread through the fine fins. And in this way, they're kind of acting like a filter and the filter is simply blocked. Now we will check the gasket. In the center, we have the water inlet and those slits in the side, those are for water outlet. And again, here we have a lot of kind of nasty stuff that should not belong inside an AIO, like corrosion related stuff, I would assume. This certainly does not look promising. Moving over to the pump, that's definitely not going to look good as well. Surprisingly, this looks quite clean. Looking a bit inside the radiator, it's not as bad as I expected, but definitely not great. We already knew that the temperatures on this particular AIO were bad, but now with especially looking at the liquid, looking at the cold plate, we have evidence that this is definitely also affected, even though we kind of guessed it by just judging from the temperatures. And this should be one of the AIOs that can be returned, can be sent back over the recall to MSI. But just going from today, which is the 19th of September, this serial number is still not valid. And I think it should be, definitely, just looking at this. I'm not quite sure what MSI should do. Again, it's not my intention to bash MSI because they already issued the recall, they're working on it. They probably just have to expand to pretty much all the serial numbers and then it's maybe fine. I want to raise awareness because if I advertise for this, then should take responsibility. I hope you're not affected. If you're affected, make sure to contact MSI. If it's working out for you with the replacement, then I'm happy for you. If you have any kind of issues, you can contact me or probably it's better to contact Greg because he's already working with MSI on this particular topic. Thanks to Greg for your investigation on this topic. Thanks to you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.